Hey guys, Alton here. First off, I want to say thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. And for today's video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at one of my selected lectures from my best selling 10 and a half hour introduction to information security management course. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. In this video, I want to spend some time talking about what are considered the most valuable IT security certifications in 2019. So what I did to put this list together was I used my own experience as well as what I'm seeing with my coworkers that I work with in the industry, as well as doing some research to see what people are seeing on the internet in 2019. And I pulled together this list and I broke them up into be beginner level certifications and intermediate slash advanced certifications. And also what you're seeing on here, these certifications in that gold bold font, those are the certifications that I currently hold. So if you have questions about those, feel free to ask me questions in the course Q&A section. So with that, let's go ahead and let's start with the beginner certifications. And I want to start off with the Network Plus, the A Plus, and the ITIL Foundations. Now, these three certifications, they are not IT security specific certifications. These are just general IT certifications, and they're considered foundational fundamental IT certifications and you're going to find that lots of jobs require certain ones such as these. Now why is a Network Plus a valuable IT security certification? Well a lot of people typically start off in different areas within IT and then they eventually move to IT security and to really have a good solid fundamental grasp in multiple areas within IT security, you have to understand how networks work and the Network Plus is going to give you that foundational information. Now the A Plus, this is going to be required for a lot of help desk and desktop support jobs. These help you understand how computers work, the hardware, and also how operating systems work. So the A Plus is also definitely going to be valuable as well. And then lastly, and I would say about the last five or six years, the ITIL family or suite of certifications, because it's more than one, this is catching on and it's becoming highly popular and what i tell is it's all about it services best practices and regardless of where you are in it whether you are working in a service desk for help desk support or you're working in it security and instant response well we're providing some sort of a service so you're going to see a high demand for itil and even if you're working in it security a lot of people are looking to adopt this framework this itil it services best practices framework. And so I recommend getting this and it's also not that difficult to obtain. Now there is another certification. There's actually a couple on here in the intermediate and advanced that aren't 100% specifically designed for IT security. And that is the PMI Institute. That is a project management professional certification. And then there's a Cisco CCNA security certification. So these two certifications, what I'm seeing in the industry is that even though we work in IT security, we are deploying systems, we are deploying projects, we are deploying all sorts of IT security solutions, and we do, th do that as a project. And what we've found is that there are a lot of experts in IT security, but they lack the project management fundamentals and skill set. And so people that have the PMP, and they have the IT security certifications, they are in high demand. And so that's highly recommended. And in fact, even if you don't work in IT security and you work in IT in general, having the PMP is going to be very valuable to your resume and to your career. Now, the Cisco CCNA, the Certified Network Associate Certification with a focus on security, this is a network administration and network engineering certification. And from Cisco's perspective, they look at this as a beginner certification, but from a general IT perspective, this is an intermediate type of a certification. So you can focus in on security, on their routers and switches and all their devices, and that's gonna hold a lot of value as well. It does apply to security, but it more so applies to the Cisco equipment and networks and network administration. 
but it's definitely valuable and it's in high demand as well. So I wanted to highlight those two as well because they're not 100% specific to IT security, but they are also focused on other areas. So with that said, let's talk about the three other items in the beginner section. We'll talk about the GIOC Security Essentials, better known as the GSEC. We'll talk about the EC Council Certified Ethical Hacker and the CompTIA Security Plus. So the CompTIA Security Plus and the GIOC Security Essentials Certification, these are considered foundational broad IT security certifications. Now, in terms of the two, the one that's really, that I've noticed that's in the highest demand is going to be the Security Plus. So if you look for jobs, you're going to see this on a lot of the requirements or recommendations. And in the federal government, in certain areas, it's actually required for IT security professionals. So I highly recommend them. In terms of the overall value as your career advances, they're not going to hold a lot of value. They're going to give you a good broad understanding, but they don't really take it at a deep level of knowledge. So that's why you have to advance it and earn other certifications as well as you move along. Now, the other one is a certified ethical hacker. So the certified ethical hacker, this is going to be our foundational ethical hacker certification. So if you want to be a penetration tester, if you want to do vulnerability assessments, in other words, if you want to be an ethical hacker, this is a good place to start. Now, in terms of it turning you into an ethical hacker, it's not really going to turn you into a good ethical hacker. It's just going to help you understand the methodology in what ethical hackers work. If you want to become an actual ethical hacker, everybody is recommending that you aspire to earn the Offensive Security Certified Professional Certification. There are other ones such as the eLearnSecurity.com certifications, but they aren't sought after as much as the OSCP. The Certified Ethical Hacker is one that's going to kind of check the box on certain resumes and certain applications, but it's not going to allow you to actually become a really good ethical hacker. That's where the OSCP is, and this is more of an intermediate level security ethical hacker certification. So if you just want to understand the basics and the frameworks and some of the tools that people use, the CEH is good, but if you want to become an ethical hacker, aspire for the OSCP. All right. So now let's talk about the last four certifications. And let me highlight the ones that we haven't talked about yet. So that's going to be the CISSP, the CCSP, the CISM, and the CISA. So I just passed the ISC Squared Certified Information Systems Security Professional, better known in the industry as the CISSP certification, about four weeks ago and I am waiting for them to review my endorsement and my experience and to approve me as an official CISSP. So right now, I'm provisionally certified. Now, the CISSP, what it is, is this is kind of the end-all, be-all certification for a lot of people that are looking to move up the ranks and to become um, not only a subject matter expert, but a manager or director or a program owner within information security. It covers the width of, of an ocean and goes about four feet deep. So you pretty much have to understand from a high level perspective, everything that encompasses information security. And it's a very difficult exam. In fact, all of these here listed are very difficult exams. And it's not uncommon for people to fail these exams more than once. In fact, most of these certifications that you see here on this slide, it's not uncommon for people to fail them more than once. So if you are studying, if you even if you failed the Security Plus more than once, don't worry. I was in the boot camp with CISSP. The guy also trained Security Plus, and he says it's not uncommon now for people to fail these more than once. So don't worry about that. Just understand, just keep studying along, keep chugging along, and you'll eventually pass. So the CISSP, highly valuable highly sought after in the IT security field if you want to move up into leadership and management. Now, because cloud-based computing is becoming so popular as of several years ago, that to the point that most organizations are looking to move into the cloud and even the government is moving into the cloud, we need certified security professionals for the cloud. There are vendor specific ones and then there is one such as the IC squared. So the IC squared certified cloud security professional 
is going to hold a lot of clout as well on your resume and it's going to provide you a lot of, of value. I believe the experience is three years for that. I'm not 100% certain, but I think it's around three years of experience working in IT security. And you probably have to have experience working with cloud-based computing. Now, there is also ISACA has, which is similar to the CISSP. They have their Certified Information Security Manager certification, and they also have their Certified Security Information Auditor certification. So as you can tell by the names, this one is going to apply to somebody that wants to be a manager, a program manager, a CISO, somebody that wants to be in leadership in IT security. That's what the CISM is going to be for. And then for somebody that wants to be an IT security auditor, if you want to audit systems, that's what the CISA is for. This is the end all be all IT security auditing certification. So that's our semi-comprehensive list of what are considered the most valuable IT security certifications in 2019. So my, my recommendation is if you don't hold any IT security certifications, if you don't hold any IT certifications at all, is start off with beginner certifications and start working your way up. And if you have any questions about them, and especially the ones that I hold, feel free to ask me. I'm always happy to help. So if you have any questions about IT security certifications or certifications in general, feel free to always ask and I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. But you can always just go out on the internet, go out to forums, go out to Reddit. There are so many great valuable resources out on the internet today that's going to help guide you in the right direction. I can also help you find those as well. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, I'll see you at the next lecture. Take care. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.